Far more, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Far more was a United States chain of discount drugstores based in Youngstown, Ohio, and founded by Michael Mickey Monis and David Shapira in 1982. Some of its stores use the names Farmhouse and RX Place purchased in the mid-1990s from the F.W. Woolworth Company. Low prices were advertised to bring in a large volume of sales with the slogans Far More Power Buying Gives You Far More Buying Power and Far More for Less. Another common slogan in their TV commercials was Power Buying Saves. Save it far more. In 1996, the Green Bay, Wisconsin-based regional discount store chain Shopco announced a plan to merge with Far More, but withdrew from the plan a year later, citing irreconcilable differences. Business model. Far More's business model was based on selling a large quantity of merchandise with a very small profit margin. Many products were shipped via direct store delivery, but some were shipped through Tamco warehouses, which Far More later purchased. Sam Walton once called Monas the only retailer that he feared, since he couldn't understand how far more grew so rapidly in a short time. Bankruptcy. In 1992, when the company had grown to over 300 stores and 25,000 employees, Monas and his CFO Patrick Finn were accused of embezzlement. They had allegedly hidden losses and moved about $10 million from far more to the World Basketball League that Monas had founded. Based on deceptive data and inventory, far more borrowed millions, ostensibly to finance its unusually rapid growth. In actuality, this infusion of cash was necessary to pay off suppliers. As a result, far more had to file for bankruptcy protection closed 55 stores, and laid off 5,000 employees. Finn testified against Monas and received 33 months in prison. Monas's first trial ended in a hung jury in 1994. He was convicted at the second trial on 107 federal counts, mostly related to fraud and sentenced to 17 years and 7 months in federal prison. Prosecutors estimated that the total loss to all investors exceeded $1 billion. The sentence was appealed and later reduced to nine years. Several investors in far more filed a civil suit against the company's auditors Coopers and Librand. A jury decided in 1996 that the accountants committed common law and federal securities law fraud by falsely representing they had performed GAS audits when in fact they had failed to do so. Far more emerged from bankruptcy protection in January 1995, with 143 stores remaining, only to be hit hard once again by competition from other large retailers, such as Walmart and Target, which began opening new stores with pharmacies. Far more, unable to compete, was forced into bankruptcy for the second time in September 2001 only about six and a half years after it had emerged from its prior three-year-long bankruptcy. The company was delisted from the Nasdaq stock market on October 10, 2001. Far more became weaker during its last years of business. The company tried to return to its power-buying concept before it had filed for bankruptcy, but to no avail. Without power-buying, Far more found itself directly competing with CVS and Walgreens, and lost out because of other chains' convenient locations. Far more's second bankruptcy was eventually to result in its total liquidation. In July 2002, a judge in Youngstown approved the sale of Far More Incorporated's $141 million in assets and inventory. Going out of business sales began at the pharmacy chain's remaining 73 stores. Liquidation of Far More's inventory was handled by the Ozer Group of Needham, Massachusetts, and Hilco Merchant Resources of Northbrook, Illinois. Its Youngstown area assets were purchased by Giant Eagle in bankruptcy court. The case was featured in an episode of the PBS show Frontline, entitled, How to Steal $500 Million. The stores in the Youngstown area were eventually sold to Marks, another discount grocery drugstore chain.